Hey guys, Matt here, back with another reaction. This time it's episode 4, Magi, the Labyrinth of Magic. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, last time out, I watched episodes 1 through 3 all in one go. Uh, yeah, after having, having some time to think about it, I mean, obviously, like, I'm really into it. Definitely excited to keep going. Um... One thing that really stood out to me the most, I guess, was the music. Like, I actually was looking up the soundtrack already. And might even be, like, one of my favorite soundtracks of all time already, honestly. Um, so I'm really excited to see where some of this music's going to actually come in during the show. Because I can only imagine how amazing it's going to be. But, yeah, so it seemed like the first three episodes were kind of just setting up, like the starting point of the our main group of three people's adventure uh we got morgiana uh this former slave girl i guess uh also really badass can kick the shit out of people literally <laughs> um we got alibaba who has been taught royal sword play from some somewhere um and can lead can read the language of Tron, which is not a thing that is supposed to happen, like Lord Jamil was saying, even commoners usually can't read at all, so, yeah, obviously Alibaba has got some interesting ancestry. Um, and then Aladdin, who we found out is a Magi himself, um, and it seems like he's been reincarnated, I guess, and brought back basically with the purpose of choosing a king and guiding him and helping him and that king seems to be Alibaba so yeah they cleared the dungeon last time out pretty sure Lord Jamil and his other slave guy died I'm, I'm pretty sure about that yeah the thing we saw in the last episode was basically Alibaba and Aladdin like teaming up officially being very happy about it is a nice moment but then something weird happened and like like a flash of light and then there was like a beam of light coming out of the earth or something and then Aladdin woke up somewhere separated from everyone so yeah I don't know what that's about but kind of hoping that the three are going to be reunited pretty quickly here in the next episode. Eager to just see what happens next, so let's get into it. Three, two, one. Well, my master, you were dashing today as usual. And no wonder. To think that you'd use your treasure for such a thing. You're much too kind. <laughs> And now then, this way, please. I have taken it upon myself to bring you the finest wine and women. Hey, Boodle, doesn't it embarrass you sucking up to me like this all the time? No, not at all. Yeah, so I think Alibaba, like, works for this guy, I guess. It's been three days already. Where the heck are you, Aladdin? Although he's rich now, I guess. Lord Alibaba. Yeah, so they... You have a visitor downstairs, my lord. It's a child. Uh Okay, here we go. Welcome home, Aladdin! Oh. That's a uh, child? I didn't think she was a child. Why did you use so much of the treasure you got? Someday, I'll return to my home. As my savior told me. Your savior, huh? Poor Jimio. Right, I get it. I better stop fooling around, too. He really made me happy when he said that. Don't you worry. You're not a coward at all. You're a brave guy. I promise you. Aladdin, I'm going to search for you while I do what I have to do. We'll go on another adventure together real soon.
Yeah, I just wanted to mention that uh, Morgiana did say she was... Well, she's from the, the Dark Continent, but she said that was like an offensive name for it. I don't remember what it was actually called, though, but... Yeah, I'm sure we'll find that out soon. Alright, here we go. Hey. What exactly am I? Answer me! Why don't you ever say anything? <laughs> oh, are you awake, my child of me? <laughs> Looks like you're feeling better now. The Ruch are joyful. Mm, the Ruch? They're fluttering about you right now. You mean you can see them too? Of course, child. So then you can see them? These waves of innumerable lives around you? Oh. Just what are Ruch anyway? Ruch are, in the most simple terms, the home of your soul. You see, all living things eventually return to one place once their lives are over. The physical body returns to the earth from whence it came, and the soul finds its way back to Ruch. I'm always being saved by them, you know? Uh-huh. Whenever I share the strength in my belly with them, all these drops of light come together, and they lend me a hand to get out of trouble. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This woman is shook what right is now. It, Toya? The patrol has finally returned to the village. Right. Very well. So, not saying much here. It's just a lot of information there. So, those bird like things are souls, actually? I Spy from the co Empire. <laughs> How could a child like this be a spy? You have a point. What's your name? Where did you come from? Yes, Hugo. Made an oh, appearance. Oh, well, my name is Aladdin. I was in a village called Chishon before. Chishon. Do you happen to know it? Yes, I think I've heard of it. It lies far to the west of here, and they say walking there would take over two years. Wait a minute. You mean it's that far away? <laughs> uh. Don't you worry, young one. A caravan will be here in two weeks, and you can get yourself a ride. It's really lively here. Yes, because oh, I saw Alibaba is in Shishan, I guess. Part of your family? That's right. All of us here have lived side by side for hundreds of years. We're a true family. The same blood runs through our veins. I love you, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> Aladdin sure is affectionate. <laughs> wow, that's yummy. Hey, oh don't my drink a drink of the <laughs> Didn't you hear her say no? <laughs> that was really mean. What a weird kid you are, little boy. <sighs> The scenery, though. I am the third child of the first emperor of the Co Empire, Ren Hakue. I have come to engage in diplomatic talks. Welcome to our land, Your Highness. I dream. What's the matter, Ugo? I see. You're gonna be invading our village. If we yeah, don't I don't. Fight. I don't have a good exactly. feeling about this. <laughs> come now, silence. Your Highness, please. You needn't be so impatient. Aladdin's just caught in the um, middle of all this. I poured you some horse milk wine, Highness. Would you like to come inside and talk at your leisure? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ryosai, what are you doing? I cannot allow our noble princess to drink such... Striking him would be a declaration of war. Is that Who what even you is want? this guy? You insulted my family! Stop it, Dorji. <laughs> I believe you are right. I feel like this guy's supposed to be I under her authority and he just by morning. stepped in, went against her wishes. Does 
General, I've got to keep everyone in line. Good evening! <sighs> Lovely night, isn't it, Princess? <sighs> Hi, <clears throat> my name's Aladdin. I came here because I wanted to chat with you. That claw. Very well, then. I would like to chat with you, too. That is a dungeon item, is it not? Huh? A mysterious tool that harbors in its supernatural power. Acquired only by those who have survived the ordeal of a dungeon. But I've had this cloth as long as it can remember. What? Princess, are you going to invade that village? Yeah, she's if about so, to have her mind blown, too. You change your mind, it would make Baba cry. They taught me what having a family is all about, and I love them so much. Mind. And create a world where no one ever dies. Please believe what? me. <laughs> the roof hovering around you are so determined. You must really mean it. Hmm. All right, I'll talk it over with Baba and the others, okay? <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Ugo, when you first met that princess, what was going on with you? Another thing, what were you talking about with Amon in the dungeon the other day? Yeah, that's a good question. I see. It's all right. I understand there are some questions you can't answer. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go and search for answers about myself. This village will tell me something. That's the feeling I'm getting. <sighs> What's happening? I'm gonna make them pay. Let's go! <laughs> Don't you dare kill any of the enemy. If you kill even one of them, there will be war. Understood? I'm counting on you. Please bring our girls home safely. <laughs> Stay back! Ooh. If you kill even one of them, there will be war. Shit. You're finished! Oh no. Oh no. Could just grab her and get out of there, I mean. I've lost sight of them, Baba. Then we must sit and wait. Yeah, but those boys are fine Koga warriors through and through. You must have faith in them, Aladdin. Still. Controlling a giant and controlling the Rook. Why, you're just like the Magi, straight out of all those fairy tales. That's because he is you a Magi. Do you know what a Magi is? Yes, of <laughs> course I do. Then tell me. Huh. The original. Thinking maybe Aladdin's reincarnation of the original. Oh, I see. So that's what Amagi is. By the way, Aladdin. Just that's just you a theory. Who you were, but you're Aladdin, Baba's child and a member of the great Koga family. Huh? Oh. Don't you have any friends, child? Huh? Yes, I do. Ugo and Ali Baba. Well then, who you are is Aladdin, child of Baba and friend of Ugo and Ali Baba. <laughs> How very funny this is that I should know so much about who you are when you don't seem to at all. <sighs> right. Thank you, Baba. So, um, what is it? Yesterday, I met with the Co Empire's princess, and we promised that there'd be no killing. Oh, <gasps> so there won't be any war. Everything will be fine. You. You really did that? You see? Everyone's coming back. Uh, I don't know about 
about this. Hey, Baba! Everyone's safe and sound. We rescued them without killing anyone. Oh, uh, I guess he didn't go through with it. Uh, they tricked me. I'm very, very proud of you, George. I wasn't sure about this guy at first. I've been thinking. Let us submit to the Empire. What is it that is so important we must protect it? Our country? Our pride? No, none of those. What we must protect is our precious lives. No matter what happens, we must never go to war. Wage a righteous battle in your own hearts that we may all live today as a clan. Yes, Father. That was well said. Hey, our eyes are both open, finally. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> What's taking Baba so long? Seriously? So, <laughs> it's kind of, kind of shitty way to end that episode. <sighs> so yeah, that was episode four. Um, this episode, I guess, pretty much completely about Aladdin. Just kind of figuring a little bit more out about himself, I guess. And we're learning along with him. Uh, so, yeah, he is a Magi. I think maybe he is the OG Magi reincarnated, but, you know, who knows. Um, yeah, I mean, not really a whole lot happened. Although, <clears throat> we did run into the princess. I, f I don't know what her name is, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, the little the little flying things, the souls, they uh, they seem to like her. So Aladdin took that to mean that sh I guess she has a good heart or whatever. So I'm inter I don't know if she's gonna be around more. You would you would think so. So she had a pretty cool little design too, her uh, wardrobe. Kind of would be cool to see her some more. See what she's got going on. Um, yeah, and I guess Aladdin is basically just, well, the plan was that he was going to wait around for a couple of weeks to catch a caravan back to the city where Alibaba, I think, is, although I already forgot the name of it, my bad, but yeah, as we saw Baba at the end there, take a take an arrow in the back so not sure if the plan's gonna change now or what's gonna happen but yeah thanks for watching I think I'll just end this here kind of want to get on to the next episode uh, see ya